All right, so one of my subscribers asked me what I felt about L.A. Capone. I'm going to talk about it, you know. Like, I wasn't, a, like, at first, I wasn't really a fan. I seen the interview. I seen the interview. He was like, um, they asked him about the war in Chirac. He was sitting on the couch with Tay 600, Rondo, and um, and who the fuck else was with him? Yeah, it, yeah, it was him, Tay, and Rondo, and him, and himself. And like, he said the shit was fun. That made me not like that nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I, I would listen to an LA diss track. I still do. I mean, I listen to any diss track. You know. You know what I mean? I didn't like, because this shit ain't a game. If you think this shit is fun out here, you a goofy. And, you know, he didn't diss JoJo until JoJo died. You know what I mean? That's that's another goofy thing. But, and FBG used to whoop his ass. So, but I like his, man, again, had power, didn't know how to use it. Didn't know how to move. Simple as that. You know, he was given too much, he was given more power than he could handle. Because his verse on Play For Keeps, you know, um, that flows. Man, you know, besides the Tuka disc, that shit was, man, come on, man. Come on, man. If you can't break brain, you fake. One more, one more plate. It was me and bro went to the stove, y'all, you know the rest. That's, that's my favorite line out that whole thing. Because that's something I would do. Me and my nigga finna eat. Nigga, he get a zebra cake. I get a zebra cake. You feel me? That's real talk. So he had, you know, he had the heart of a, of a true artist. But his view on the streets was fucked up. You know, he didn't have a father. He had about a few other sisters. About, what, four, four or five sisters? How many sisters he got? He got a GD-ass sister. You know, he got a sister that <laughs> he related to GD. Ain't that a bitch? But he never flipped. He never was GD. You can't find nothing on L.A. Capone talking about he's GD. L.A. was BD. He, you can say, you know what I'm saying? He kept it real. But he, had, he has fucked up outlooks on the streets, man. Like, it's for him to say this shit fun, like, bro, this shit ain't fun. It's a survival match. You know? So for for a while I didn't like him, man. I even had a song. I even got a song out called Fifty One Degrees Below" when I rapped under the name Dezo. You know, look that shit up. D E E Z O. Real talk. Fifty One Degrees Below off the Fifty One Dead Ops instrumental. Marble head ass. Anyway, yeah, 51 degrees below. It was a line I said, I gotta come clean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta be real. You know what I'm saying? I gotta come clean. I dissed him in a line. I said, uh, I said, a lot of you, a lot of you niggas is way too gone. Soft as fuck down to the bone. Don't get shot in your ass like a lake of palm. You know, you look up 51 degrees below. Dezo, D E E Z O. You know, and that's, that's how it was at the time. Like, man, niggas thinking this shit a game. I can't respect them. So I shit, I said it, said what I said. But now, you know, I mean, I, I play his music. I like a little bit of his music, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Get your uh, grenade head ass. Anyway, uh, yeah, niggas is trying to interrupt the video and shit, man. Motherfucker, man, I'm high right now. I don't like motherfuckers walking past me like that. Man, motherfuckers behind me and shit. Man, but anyway, yeah, LA was a, LA was real, you know, a real artists. You're moving wrong. So they knew where he was at. He took a cab. Cab driver, the last one to drop him off. 
Of course it was the cab driver that got gave out the drop. Nigga. That nigga did though. How else? Talking about he wasn't the cab driver. Man. Y'all got me fucked up. Who else said it then? Imagine laying down some tracks that you never get to hear it again. Now they say, y'all don't take this like I'm dissing them. This is just what I, I think Chicago World News said this and somebody else. They went to the deaf side of LA and they got source. They know, they got, they, you know, they was there in Chicago. And, uh, you know, he, they said LA was like, not, hey bro, catch me another time, man. No, man, uh, you know, they say he was crying. Now, this is what they say. I'm not dissing LA. They say he was crying. They say, now look, let's say that it's true. Let's say it's true. I can't confirm it. I wasn't there. You know, let's say that it's true. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to call him a bitch. And I wouldn't call him soft for that. That's human. Like, if you're a human being, and it's like, you know, sometimes niggas don't care. They'll die. They'll tell you to pull the trigger. But man, he, you know, shit, man. He had just turned 17. He had just did some new music. He ain't want to die. So if that is true, it, it makes sense. And I'm not clowning L.A. for that. If he was crying and shit and, and, and telling him, asking him, I ain't going to clown him for that. Because he had a good life. He had, the man's sister, man, he had like what? His mama, still had his mama. His mama was beautiful. Shout out to the mama Capone. You feel me? Her fine ass. Then he had all them sisters. He had a big family. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't want to leave either. Like, so, if it is true, whatever. But, yeah, that's just what I feel about that, man. Just like Vaughn, he had the true credentials of an artist. He just misused his power. That's it.